Mike John, Motorhomes to Go in beautiful Grand Rapids, Michigan, showing the Georgetown 36B. This is a 2018 model. Show you around the coach. Uh, first, point out these beautiful rims. These are not hubcaps. This is a 22.5 tire, which gives you great radius when turning. In fact, the radius on this coach is 50 uh, degrees. So, nice turn radius to get in and out of your park. Show you these steps here. You have a three step system, um, but just gives you uh, easier in and out of the coach if you're carrying your baby or some food or some drinks or have an elderly person with you, uh, easily in and out of this coach. Um, would point out this door is actually 30 inches as well. A lot of coaches are uh, a lot less than that, so it just gives you plenty of space to go in and out. Behind here is a TV, but I left it locked. Um, you have TV with uh, speakers out here as well. Here's your house batteries which you have two um, house batteries on this unit. Uh, great thing about these storage compartments is these are rotocast. They're not going to rust. Um, you can fill this thing full of ice and throw your sodas in here if you like to. Um, it also has a drain out the side. You can rinse it off with a hose, whatever you like. There you have another one about the same size on this side. You have your one of your water heaters here, access panel, access panel, and here's some pass-through storage. You get a good picture of that. Throw your skis in there, your fishing poles, chairs, plenty of space. Here's your other water heater. You do get a ladder with this unit on the back in case you need to check your roof. Um, here's one of your black tank flushes for your back bathroom. Other side of your pass-through storage. And we get up to your uh, uh, black tank flush here. Fresh water fill, city fill. This is a whole house water filter. Outdoor shower. Wouldn't set anything off that you need to. And Cummings generator, 5500, and more storage. I want to point out these latches. I know it seems like a little thing, but these slam latches are great. They're not chintzy, they're not going to break. You can just slam them, it's going to stay shut. More storage, and your LP tank. Also, I'm not going to climb on the roof right now, but you do get a uh, fiberglass, one piece fiberglass roof on this unit. You got nice, beautiful awning outside and slide toppers on this unit as well. Let's go inside and take a look. Okay, we're sitting in the cockpit now of the 36B Georgetown. Show you a few things here. To my left is our automatic leveling jacks. I pull in the campground, I hit on and hit auto. I'm going to be level. If I'm baking a cake, or I want to just fine tune a little bit, I can go ahead and do that there. Cup holder for the driver. Uh, here you have heated mirrors, uh, your controls, so you can move your mirrors uh, from inside the coach to adjust those. Uh, battery boost is a nice feature. Uh, not all coaches have that, but uh, basically if your engine battery goes dead, uh, if you left your lights on all night, you can actually just hit this button here and start your coach from your coach batteries, but you have two coach batteries, so plenty of power, you're not going to get stranded. LED lights for the outside that look great, your fog lights, and then your regular lights up in here. A little bit over to the right, we have our shade control. It's simple, one button operation. The shade's going down, no problem. Time to go up, no problem. And on the side, on both sides, uh, you just have manual down. So that blocks out all the light and anyone looking into coach. All right, moving on to the steering column, we have uh, your cruise control features right here. Um, and then 
over to the Pioneer system. So uh, Bluetooth enabled, you can listen to all your um, podcasts or uh, music playlists. Um, the radio uh, button there just so you don't drain the battery. But if you want to use it when your coach is off, you can go ahead and turn that back on. You have speakers uh, inside, outside, um, living room speakers, subwoofer, and then genset. Just a simple uh, push of that button and starts your generator, which is a 5.5 Onan generator. Plenty of power for this coach. And you also have a 2,000 watt inverter in this coach. So you can use your coach batteries for powering just about everything. Um, if you needed to uh, use your air conditioner, then you'd have to turn on your generator. A couple more cup holders down here. Um, these seats actually do flip around, so you have a little table that comes over here um, that you can use to set your uh, drinks on or um, whatever you want. Uh, passengers seats, these are um, like a little larger than your normal uh, seats, so it's plenty of, plenty of room inside here. And uh, there's another cup holder for the passenger on that side. Okay, turning around in the coach now. Um, see beautiful decor. I want to point out this One Touch, my RV One Touch here, which is all digital. You control your awning, um, lighting, monitor panel, see where you're at on uh, your fresh tank, black tanks, LP tank. Also control your slides from here. Bed slide, bunk slide, main slide. And also you can download this app and use it on your um, smartphone. So in case you're outside and you're close to a tree and you're trying to slide your slide out, you can actually be out there controlling it right from your smartphone. Or turn your lights on and off or check your monitor uh, panel and see where you're at on your uh, tanks. <coughs> Moving on to the kitchen area. We have a solid surface countertop here with a extension that's also solid surface. You have a undermounted sink double which is stainless both sides. Nice uh, fixture here for your large pans or just cleaning out your sink. And take a look at some of your storage underneath. You have uh, roller ball drawer slides and I also have some hidden storage behind this 40 inch flat screen that lifts up take a look in there great spot for some cereal boxes don't slam it all right stainless steel uh, package here with a three burner uh, stove, nice microwave, large. Also, just notice the detail of a glass backsplash. Looks great in this kitchen area. And over to your 18 cubic foot refrigerator, which is gas and electric. Some companies are just going with electric only, which is fine, but you lose the option of some of your dry camping. <clears throat> Nice big freezer. And I want to step back here so you can see the floor, which is a um, vinyl floor, so easy to clean, but also that it's flush all the way through the beginning of the coach to the back of the coach. One, one um, level, no step ups or downs all the way through the coach. All right, turning around to your couch which has footrests and this is a hide bed as well so you have another sleeping space here here is the dream dinette which is just a lever that you pull right down here over and then this will slide right down just have to move your cushions out of the way but then that makes a bed for a short person and nice deep slides here with windows on each side I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to turn the camera or not, or you can just turn it yourself. So hopefully I'm not moving around too much. All right, into the bedroom area. You have your um, 
two bunks, which are oversized, so you could fit adults in there. Um, DVD um, player on each TV. And if you're not going to use this for any people, you can just put some totes up here or some extra blankets and close these curtains and block that off. Turning around to the bathroom area. Nice big shower. Stainless steel um, shower head. Stainless steel sink. Uh, porcelain foot flush toilet. Medicine cabinet. Fan up top. And a nice skylight. Nice and bright. Going back into the master bedroom. We have um, his and her wardrobe, closet doors, and plenty of storage underneath as well. And a 32 inch flat screen TV back here. But notice all this space you have between the bed and the TV, which is kind of uh, unique because it's a dual slide. So you have opposing slides here. It really opens it up, easy to get in and out of bed. And by the way, this is a king size residential bed, so um, plenty of plenty of space there to spread out, especially if you're a little taller. All right, moving on into the back rear bath or the master bath, you have another shower, uh, same setup, stainless steel sink. You have some uh, large cupboards here, which actually can be uh, converted into a washer uh, dryer combo and it's all plumbed for that or you can use that for storage. And lastly just want to show you one picture of the coach on the inside closed up. Still plenty of room to make a sandwich or use the restroom or jump on the bed not recommended if you're driving down the road but still plenty of room in here and I want to also note the two Atwood air conditioners on this unit one in the bedroom one back here which are fully ducted um, through these ducts so if you close the latch here then you can go ahead and get air out of here um, from all the ducts uh, in the coach my name is Michael John motorhomes ago 616-206-7370. Thanks for taking the time with me.